Guys, I'm gonna give this movie, and, and by the way, stay tuned, if you have seen this movie, we're gonna do something new for the channel, we're gonna start doing this, at the end of the review, we're gonna do a spoiler <laughs> Spoiler! Spoiler! We watched a movie, yeah, we watched a movie, we watched it, we watched a movie. We're gonna talk about spoilers starting in three spoilers. You said two and one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retarded! It was so stupid. It was so retarded. Like, first of all, like we said, there's a giant plot hole. This girl, she's a baby, okay? They burned down um, Leatherface's house to kill the family, but then one of the rednecks that burned it down finds this baby, and she's got a little burn mark right here, right? Yeah. So, years later, the girl's dating this dude, and, and you know, she's a hooker. <laughs> she's not a hooker, but she barely, wears, like yeah, she barely wears any clothes. And uh, she, she gets this inheritance letter that's like, hey, you've inherited this house, your grandma died. So they go to the house, and then they get to the house, right? First, how the fuck did they know? If the girl was abducted, basically, she was picked up, no one knew she was alive, but yet somehow, when her grandma died, they knew exactly what house she was at, exactly where to find her. You know what, two my points. Stupid. Yeah, that's one of the biggest, like, shit, I was like, what the fuck? And the other one was, they picked up a hitchhiker on their way to the house, okay? Oh, yeah, that yeah, guy. They picked up this hitchhiker on the way to the house over there at a gas station. The guy was like, yo, where you guys going? He's like, well, we're going up to Louisiana. He's like, I'm going to go. And they're like, all right, cool. Yeah, so they picked him with their car. In so 2012 or 13, I guess now. So they picked him up. They go to the house. They leave this motherfucker alone while they go to the grocery store to shop for food that they're going to cook. This yeah. guy steals all their silverware. <laughs> I'm like, first off, who the fuck steals silverware? What right? are you gonna do with it? Where do you sell silverware? I have no idea. I was like, uh, yeah, I got some spoons that are silver. Who's gonna buy them? <laughs> I was like, now they can't even eat their soup. Yeah, of course, he's the first death. But it, what pissed me off is like, you're gonna leave this dude, this hitchhiker alone that you didn't even know, <laughs> in your house to make sure that everything's situated. Yeah. And you know, that's one thing. And then, of course, you know, you talk about how they knew that who she was and where that she came from. Like, the, the lawyer that comes and say you signed the papers we knew who you were hey, and he even time. said he, she was like she was like well how did they find me and he was like you'll find out later but you never do you never yeah. find out they never explain it that was a complete fucking cop out those are two bullet holes yeah. another bullet hole is like uh, first off the girl's Friends, I'm gonna jump ahead the girl's friends and boyfriend get butchered by this by fucking Leatherface she, like, near the end of the movie, gets all about it. She's I like, know, right? she's like, get your chainsaw, cousin. Yeah, she, no, she, her exact words were like, okay, so, so at the end of the movie, uh, like, he, they've got, they're, 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 the, the cops are fucking up Leatherface, right? They're gonna put him in that grinder thing. Yeah. And she feels bad no, for him. No, they're not even cops, they're, they're good old boys. Yeah, yeah, the she, mayor. she feels bad for him. She goes back to save this guy because he's her cousin who killed her boyfriend and all of her friends, she goes back to save him and she throws him his chainsaw and she's the worst fucking lot ever. What is she, she's do like, Do your thing. Do your thing, cuz. It's so fucking I was stupid. like, what? Yeah. That is so fucking retarded. So, so I butchered you and like I found out I was related to I was like, it's okay. Yeah, do your thing, cuz. We're related to your fucking murderer who, saw, who, and, and, who puts other people's faces on, but I'm gonna help you kill, even though they're fucking misdirected, shitty, Sheriffs and like yeah. good old boys like you said you're gonna help him fucking slaughter them And then you're gonna take this guy back and you're gonna feed him and you're gonna take care of him Yeah, what that, the fuck? Like, the, throughout the whole movie. There's like the, like the very beginning of the lawyer hands over the uh, deed She's like he's like make sure you read that letter and in the letter they the, the grandmother the deceased grandmother states that she has to take care of this guy Yeah, and that's at the end of the movie after she goes back and saves him and it's it, when she reads it but the funny thing was, is like they don't even shoot it to where there's any kind of like wonder if she's gonna do it. She like runs outside when Leatherface sets her free because of this magic fucking burn mark that she has on Leatherface. Is like, oh, I see that you have a pendant burned. Somehow in he knew that because she had a burn mark right there. She had to be his cousin. Yeah, and and, and then so she goes outside. She's standing there, and the camera zooms in. I was like, yeah, she's gonna go back and save him. It's just the way they shot. He's like so immediately bad. so stupid. Like I, I get they were trying to add like some originality to it, but the movie was so fucking by the numbers <laughs> that it just didn't help. But then they walk in. And after all of it said and done, that like Leatherface and this girl walk in, like nothing's happened, like yep. they're just coming back from church. <laughs> and he sits down, and she tries to take his mask off. He's like, Whoa. and like he goes downstairs, and she like shuts the door and gives him his food. Yeah, it's just fucking retarded. Like, how are you gonna make Leatherface a good guy? The whole point of the movie is for us to be scared of Leatherface, who goes to kill people. And now you're gonna try to make him a fucking good guy? You're completely shit on your own purpose. That's like adding more nuggets into the turd than needs to be. And yeah. it's, not, it's not even good. I, it's like, I almost can't flush it now. Why the turd plumber flush. fucking plunge it? No. I mean, it's like leather, like you're supposed to feel sorry for this fucking guy. Like you're like, that's what they were going for. Like you're supposed to feel sorry for him. Yeah. No, this motherfucker like killed people. He put their face on and then you're going to tell me it's okay to feel sorry for him. God helped the beast in me.
They didn't even play that song in the movie. What is that? What's that fucked up song that we heard? It was like. <laughs> I mean, it was like. He gonna fuck you up. <laughs> that that was was that, he gonna fuck you up. But overall, I, I will say for like, and I said in the in the non spoiler review, it's fun for like forty minutes of the movie. Yeah, it's kind of there's some gore, there's some good stuff, but not worth seeing in the theater. Oh, but I, oh, I will mention that the gore I, I, overall sucks. It's yeah. not that good. It's, it's not, like, at a couple points it has promise, but it never really unfolds. And then I would say definitely Netflix this movie. Don't even rent it. Just Netflix it, but uh, I agree with you, Toby. You do. Know, I think we gonna get that fucker and we gonna put. Fuck yeah! We gonna put him where he needs to be. We're gonna put him on that subscribe button, which you need to click right about now. You know what? And actually, you know, it's only written in the good book. You click. And subscribe I will button. say one more quick thing before we end it. Uh, like it could be really fucking scary. Like the remake wasn't that bad. Yeah, I think that they're done with Texas. Yeah, I, I really. I mean, because the original, the idea behind it, like these fucking incest, like backward redneck guys, like fucking killing you when you're wrong. Yeah. That's scary. But they totally dropped the ball. I will say, I think that this one put the baby to bed. I think it's time to stop. You know they're not going to. It's no. going to be the new fucking generation of songs. Normally I never say that. I'm like, hey, make another movie. But after this one, I'm just like, I don't know how it could be scary. I'm going to sho shove a chainsaw fucking up your butthole. Don't Toby. do that. It's going to Toby. hurt. Toby Hooper. Toby. Toby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike PJ. We'll see you next time. See you, guys. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.